Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, Bhavna Rashput, Assistant Professor Law, IMT, Groups, IMT College of Law. Today, I am. Uh, I would like to discuss cyber obscenity with a special reference to uh, IT IT Act. So, as we know that we uh, all are very, uh, very much fond of internet. We are doing each and every every activity on internet, like buying to needle or finding a soulmate. Everything we are doing online. So internet become one of the most essential thing for the life, and it providing us the very much opportunity expo exposure. It's very useful for each and every one, where uh, whether it's about business, trading, everything. Even the governments are working with the help of internet. They are trying to connect with the people through the internet. It's providing lots of opportunity to everyone, but it also has a second phase, the other phase that is very dangerous. We have seen so much obscene, so many, so many things that are that can be deemed as a criminal activity on cyberspace as well. Cyber obscenity is one of them. It's all it's it's been a very difficult question and debatable question always that what actually obscenity. When it's come to cyber obscenity, the problem is much bigger and the concerns are really bigger because cyber space has no territorial limit. It's terra is a thing that, that has no territorial boundary that turned the whole world into a global village. Then the obscenity is really very hard to define because the obscenity is a term that is totally dependent on the morality and decency of the society, of a particular society. So it varies to society to society, country to country. Even in a one country, there can be two standards to judge this obscenity. As we all know, okay, there are so many crimes uh, are taking place on internet, like stalking, defamation, cyber obscenity, child sexual abuse, exploitation, bullying, hate speech. But cyber obscenity is one of them and it's taking, uh, it's somehow it become a very much concern for all the countries because somehow it exhibits the, all the crimes, all the other crimes, especially with reference related to the children. So cyber obscenity is a threat. The internet uses all over the world as there is no territorial limit which distinguishes the commission of crime between the country. Obscene material that is posted on the internet travels to travels without any jurisdiction limits, without any territory to whole globe, across the globe. And there is no, and there is no settled definition for the obscenity that is also creating a big, that is creating the bigger problem. What is nude or sexually explicit thing for one person may be obscene for another. Many attempts has been made by different cases to give the suitable definition of the obscenity. What is actually obscenity? It totally depends on the situation of the place, the literacy of the people, and the moral standard of the society. But in general sense, we can define obscenity as a strong, strong moral repugnance that pro that gives a thing which gives you a feeling of disgusting, disgust, ridiculous, or hatred. As long as long as a settled defin definition is concerned. Uh, I would like to define obscenity with reference to Oxford Dictionary. Oxford Dictionary defines obscenity as an offending against moral principle. And it includes portrayal or de uh, depiction of sexual matters, offensive, disgusting by the acceptive standard of the morality and decency. Whereas Macmillan Dictionary defines word obscene is offensive in a sexual way and so unfair or moral, immoral that you feel angry. Uh, as far as uh, law concern, there is no settled definition under any act uh, in India or any other country as well. It's always depends, relied on the standard. So there are so many uh, cases in which uh, very, uh, uh, very much attempts made to define the obscenity. Regina versus Hecklin is one of them. The test of obscenity 
uh, in with reference to regina versus hapelin the test of obscenity is whether the tendency of the material charge as obscene is to deprive and corrupt those whose minds are open to such influence and into whose hands a publication may fall similarly in another case ruth versus united states us provide us supreme court provide a different definition it let down the hicklin test was inappropriate because first of all because it talk about the, the, whether the tendency of the material charge is obscene is deprive or corrupt those minds who are open to such influence is generally not talking about any person which has general conscience is talk it's the standard if we rely on the definition of regular versus hecklin it depends and it varies person to person because if one it, it might be possible that one person is morally so strong that material don't corrupt his mind or don't deprive him but the same material might corrupt someone other's mind so this definition provide a very general definition which vary person to person so in ruth versus united state the us supreme court overruled the test uh, let down in regina versus hecklin and provide another test that was whether the average person applying community standard that material taken as a whole is able to corrupt uh minds of the people and influence the people so the difference in the deviation between regina and ruth is that ke regina uh, in the definition provided is regina versus hecklin was very general and it varies it might varies person to person and it was not taking material as a whole it was talking about the material as a particular piece that was in question but in ruth versus united states a uh, state, state supreme court clearly let down when we are judging the obscenity we have to judge the whole material the whole material the context of whole material and we have to see okay if we read if we see if we watch the whole material with that particular questionable part what is the finding the whole material with the including the questionable part is obscene or certainly the questionable part is obscene if the questionable obscene part is providing a general sense a, a meaning to the whole part that is that might not be offensive cannot be defined as obscene and the second thing that is uh, very much deviated from the regina versus uh, hecklin that ruth was talking about the average person the standard applied to the average person not the person whose minds are open to correct similarly miller versus california court further expanded the root test and provided three prongs that can be uh, certified during the uh, testing of obscenity first whether the average person applying contemporary community standards would find the work taken as a whole appeal to the prurient interest whether the work depicts or describes in patently offensive way sexual conduct specifically defined by the statute and the by the state law whether the work taken as a whole has any kind of literary artistic political scientific value so it's provide a very much clarification in the picture to define the obscenity i provide three test the material question the the material that is in question should be why should be judged by the capacity of average person with the applying content community standard and the material should be taken as a whole not the special part of that is questionable second test describes that the material is actually offensive way sexually conduct and specifically defined by state law third if the material in question as a whole or as a specific part is have any kind of literary artistic or political scientific value that it cannot be considered as obscene if we talk about indian laws indian penal code and information technology act both deals with obscenity indian penal codes define uh, is criminal or obscenity under uh, three sections but specifically 
67 of information technology act defines uh, punish obscenity section 67 of it act 2000 make it an offense to publish transmit or cause to be published in electronic form any material which is lascivious appeal to prevent interest or tends to depraved and corrupt person who is likely to read see or hear the matter contained or embedded in it it also provide punishment uh, with categorization if someone is getting punishment for the first time then the punishment is up to 3 year and with fine 5 lakh rupees but if the conviction is second the punishment increases to 5 year and fine up to 10 lakh rupees the section that applies to the publication and transmission of uh, obscene material it covers websites email distributing dissemination of obscene material intentionally for this section 66a and 66b 66a defines child pornography pub, uh, and 66a criminalize the pornography and 66b criminalize prohibit the child pornography section 66 67 67a 67b of the amendment it specifically exempted from prosecution for cyber pornography any book pamphlets paper writing drawing painting representation of figure in electronic form it provide the exceptions when any material that is in question cannot be supposed as as an obscene material if the publication which is proved to be justified is being for the public good on the ground that such book pamphlets paper writing drawing painting representation or figure is the interest of science literature art or learning or other objects of general concern or which is kept or used for bona fide heritage or religious purposes as we have seen that we have very much cultural heritage as in azanta and uh, azanta and elora case the engraving uh, upon the case are definitely explicit but it cannot be defined as an obscene because it has very much artistic and literary value if we talk about the indian cases regarding obscenity ranjit deu says udaisi was the state of maharashtra is one of the case that defines that is related to obscenity but it is related to obscenity that that defines in a book that is related to the publication of book and has nothing to do with cyber space in this case the court extended the theory of hicklin test as a test of obscenity for india that the test of obscenity to adopt in india is it obscenity without a prepondering social purpose or profit can at hope the constitutional protection of free speech and expression for the court define the word obscene as the offensive to modesty or decency that is lewd filthy repulsive and upheld the constitutional validity of section 290 294 under article 192 of the indian constitution again a very famous case makbul fida hussain versus rajkumar pande in this case it was alleged that a painter a renowned painter painted some obscene material in this case the apex courts apply the principle generia specialibus non derogant and held that when the crime committed has some nexus with electronic medium provision of it act would apply it was for the hell that when the accused has been acquitted under provision of it act similar provision of ipc would not apply similarly in another case sarad babu dugumati versus government or nct of delhi this case was related to a obscene mms clip that was posted on a e-commerce website named ebay for selling 
that was the the clip was related to uh obscene mms for 30 second that was pictured in a washroom of a school in this case the company the main case that was related to the mms was avnis vazaz and the avnis vazaz being the ceo of the company was acquitted uh, got acquittal on the ground that he has intermediary liability safe harbor protection that provide protection to the person who have no active role in dissemination and transmission of the clip being a, the intermediary sir uh, avnish vazaz got the exemption under it act but he has still facing the charges under indian penal court after his acquittal sharad babu dikwati his um, manager was filed a case on the ground that if the provision of it act has been revoked then he cannot be punished under ipc in this case court also applied the mugwil fida fida husain theory and said the same thing that provisions of it act will prevail over the ipc if accused has been acquitted under the provision of it act he cannot be punished under ipc so in my conclusion i want to say he is still there is so very much debate regarding the obscenity and the specific criteria regarding the obscenity and it's been a very debatable question but no act still defines what is it obscenity the excuse again uh, behind is that it's a very uh, law is a very diversify subject and obscenity is always dependent on the moral standard of the society but still due to the because of the lack of clarity on the terms obscene and lascivious is a being open to interpretation by different people further terms like published transmitted meaning remains open for the interpretation making it difficult to ascertain as to what constitute a crime under this provision and due to this confusion it somehow violating the rights of people article 191a provide freedom of speech and expression it also provide posting anything on internet that is not restricted under article 192 but this kind of suspicion uh, in confusion uh, in definition lack of clarity in definition and lack of clarity under the it act post intermediary uh, networking website to remove the content what they actually thought is obscene so this kind of confusion is violating the people's right of free speech and there is no specific definition under uh, section 67 this only defines the terms that cannot that can be accumulated that can be constitute obscene offense section 60 uh, again section 67 does not take into account the aspect of consent for example if an obscene video is shot with consent and published without consent it is the latter which is penalized here the concept of consent hold very much significance which is not given due regard under it act neither it give out uh, give any recognition under ipc as well so uh, in conclusion i want to say that we have specific laws regarding obscenity we have specific laws regarding punishment uh, of obscenity and removing the obscene content over the social networking website but the lack of clear definition is creating so much confusion and it also leading as a violations of people's right there is already a punishment under ipc and it act also providing the punishment for the same crime but there is a very much very variation in uh, punishment so this kind of haphazard nets may lead to violation of people's right
it uh, it is commendable that IT Act at least recognize the cyber obscenity because there are so many crimes, cyber bullying, and hate speech that are still unrecognized by IT Act. But uh, obscenity somehow got significant recognition uh, under IT Act, but it still needs a specific definition. Uh, the specific definition or term used under the section 67A. Thank you.